All right, so we did it. Round two of our Picture Perfect Fertilizer and Weed Control Program is officially completed for 2019. And as we move into June, that means that we are focused on getting ready for round three. So I wanna to talk to you about exactly what's different with this treatment and what to be watching for as we complete it at the beginning of this summer. So just in case you're new to the program, new to the channel, or anything like that, rounds one and two of our program, which is a seven stage program, are done during the spring. The first is a carbon-based, nitrogen-focused fertilizer that's helping to wake up the lawn after it's been dormant for the winter, as well as get started on that pre- and post-emergent weed control. Round two, which is what we've just finished, keeps the ball rolling with that carbon-based, nitrogen-focused fertility but shifts that focus somewhat to potassium since we're wanting to start developing plant health as we approach warmer weather. Round two continues that pre and post emergent weed control. So all of your pre emergent weed control for the season was being done with rounds one and two. Round three is still going to be a carbon based fertilizer, but those macronutrients in the fertilizer are actually substantially lower. So we still have a little bit of nitrogen, a little bit of phosphorus, some more potassium potassium than the other two, but still not a really extreme dose. And that's because those nutrients aren't the most important thing for fescue this time of the year. Summer is rough for fescue. We've been talking about it a lot this spring as we've seen temperatures start to rise and June, July, and August are going to be those toughest points. As a result, nitrogen is not the best thing to be putting down because it encourages growth. We don't want to encourage growth when fescue is already going to be stressed from the heat because that's just going to make it more susceptible to fungus and more likely to suffer from heat stress by browning out and shutting down. The kind of dormancy that fescue goes into as it gets hot is not the same as its winter dormancy, but we want to handle it somewhat similarly by dialing down the fertilizer and focusing more on the soil amendments. We're thinking big picture, not just what we need for this week or this month. We're thinking long term. And what we've noticed for our area in all of the soil testing that we've done, and be sure to check out the video up here that introduces you to what it's like for Picture Perfect soil testing process. We have found that by and large, RVA properties are lacking in calcium. Calcium is really important as far as these micronutrients go in making sure that the plant as a whole is staying healthy and able to perform a lot of the systemic processes that create a healthy lawn, a healthy plant, healthy grass. There's a ton of science where this is concerned and a lot of detail that I could get into but want to spare you from. If you're interested though, be sure to check out other YouTube channels like the grass factor presented by people who are educated and certified in things like soil science. So they go into all of that awesome detail that we just don't need to talk about for our purposes here. What we do need to talk about is what we're doing with this round to fix those calcium deficiencies. We're doing this in two different ways depending on how your Picture Perfect program has been customized for 2019. For our standard maintenance program, the inclusion of gypsum is targeting that calcium level to start pulling it up in the soil system as a whole. However, for our Picture Perfect clients that had a soil sample taken by us at the beginning of the year, discussed those results with Brandon and found that the pH was lower than the mid six range that we target and elected to sign Sign up for corrective lime treatments to start pulling that pH up, your round three is being customized with the replacement of that gypsum focused fertilizer with a corrective lime application. And for the vast majority of our clients, if you need calcium, you're getting calcitic lime as this corrective lime. We have maybe a couple properties that miraculously need magnesium more than they need calcium, which in our area is very rare. So in that situation, they're getting dolomitic lime because that is going to be a magnesium focused lime, but the majority of our clients are getting that calcitic lime to both pull up your calcium levels like we want to do as well as pull up your pH. Remember, if you haven't had your round three application done yet, it is a perfect time if you haven't already to reply to Brandon and get set up for that corrective application if it's something that he recommended. If you've already signed up for it, you're good to go. I've had a lot of people asking when is that going to get done and 
this is it. This is when it's gonna get done. Most of our correctives are being broken up between this round three and the lime application that's always done with aeration seeding. And when we talk about corrective liming, we're talking two, three times the amount of a maintenance lime. So we are dumping that lime down to the greatest degree that we can without losing some of the product to run off or risking any kind of issue. So depending on how your program is customized, depending on if you've signed up for these correctives that are going to speed up the process of getting your soil healthy. Round three covers a low-grade carbon-based fertilizer with a focus on calcium enrichment. But it doesn't stop there. It still has as needed weed control. Now this is another way that your Picture Perfect program is customized to the needs of your unique lawn. If you don't have any weed development in your lawn when we come out to do round three, we're not going to put down weed control extraneously. However, as our applicator goes across the lawn, if he sees a weed that has broken through the pre-emergent or weeds that did not completely die off with the post-emergent, he'll hit them again just to make sure that we keep them cleared out of the system. And that's right, you're going to see weeds this summer even if you got all of the pre-emergent weed control that we put down in the spring and even if your fescue is relatively thick. Any little bare spots in the lawn, either left behind by the winter weeds that died in the spring, or the poa that's died recently, or the neighbor's dog that came through and peed on your lawn and killed off a part of it. All of a sudden, if that fescue is pushed away, that's free real estate to a weed. So just keep an eye on that. When we talk about weed control and having a weed-free lawn, we're not talking about completely clean. There's no such thing. Anyone who tells you 100% weed-free is a liar, but we always shoot for 99%. And when we see that 1%, we take care of it. Now, even though we're continuing to spot treat with post-emergent weed control, we're done with pre-emergent for this season. And this is because we're getting too close to aeration and overseeding season. The purpose of pre-emergent, if you remember from our past videos, is to prevent weed seeds from germinating. But this applies to fescue seed as well, which is why we don't do pre-emergent weed control if you are doing any kind of spring seeding. Different kinds of pre-emergent weed control have different durations of efficacy, but the pre-emergent that we use lasts just long enough where once we finish round two we're going to be breaking down around September when we come out to do seeding. We try to time it perfectly so that you have the longest coverage through the summer as possible but we don't want to put anything down that's going to risk the success of your fall seeding because that is more important than anything else. That just about sums it up for round three. We're focusing on low levels of standard nutrients because we're treating fescue, not warm season turf, so it doesn't need to be rocking and rolling on the nitrogen this time of year. And we're focusing instead on soil amendments, specifically with calcium. The majority of round three treatments will be completed in June, but the weather can always change things. So if you have questions about the scheduling of your service, be sure to contact our office just to see where we are in terms of that. In addition to round three, this is also when we start to do the services covered by our PLUS package, so our disease control, grub control, and nuts edge control. If you have any questions or you start to see any signs that might point to these issues and you don't think that you have coverage for them right now, be sure to contact me. Let me know so I can make sure that you're covered if it's something that you want to have covered for this season. I appreciate you guys taking the time to learn about this part of our fertilizer program. After round three comes round four and that covers us for the summer and then we're we're looking at aeration seeding. It is coming up fast. We're only a few months away. So be sure to ask me if you have any questions about everything entailed with that. Pretty soon we're going to start releasing preemptive videos about aeration and seeding because it's a big deal and we want to make sure that you know what's going on. Stay tuned to find out what else is coming up in June as well as plenty of other awesome summertime information for the care of your lawn. I appreciate you watching and I hope you have a picture perfect day.